Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna go through some algorithm concepts and more specifically how to make an algorithm for shuffling. You might have a game with cards for example and you want to shuffle the deck or you might have an application with a playlist and you want to shuffle the playlist. This algorithm is gonna show you how you can shuffle anything in an array. It's very simple, very straightforward and very very useful so I hope you guys enjoy. Now, let's start with a playground application. And in this uh, playground, I'm having an array with integers inside. You can have an array with anything, any object that you want. And we're gonna go and create an extension of that array. So whenever we want to call this array.shuffle, the array is gonna get shuffled. So let's go and see extension array, and you open brackets and let's say, this is a public method which is mutating the array. So you say public mutating and then you call the function that you want and we're gonna call it shuffle. And we open brackets. Now, there are a lot of ways you can do that. So I'm gonna go through the simplest one. We're gonna have a temporary array where we're gonna insert a random object from our list and then we're gonna return that to our original array. So how we do that? We first we create the temporary array which is temp and this is an array of any element and this is an empty array like this. Now what you want to do is you want to loop through the array this one and while the array is not empty we're gonna remove one from this array one element and we're gonna insert it here. So for that we say while and the condition is explanation mark is empty. Now if our array is not empty, we say like this, we want to do something and that something is we want to get a random number which we're going to call i and we're going to say int open brackets and to get a random number you say arc for random underscore uniform and in here you have to enter a u int 32 number which we open brackets again and inside we're gonna insert the count now that count is the number of elements the array has and then we close our brackets now that we got a random number from the number of 0 until the number of elements that we have, we want to remove that from this array and put it into our temporary one. So we say let object equals remove at integer. Now this remove method refers to the array that calls the shuffle and it's going to remove at integer is i, the random number that we generated. And then you want to say temp dot append new element and that element is object. Now we removed it from our array and then we inserted it to our temporary array. And when our while loop is done, we want to say self, which refers to the array equals temp. Now let's go and call list dot shuffle. And you will see on the right side that our array from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shuffled to 5, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6, 1. And if I press enter again, it's going to shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. Now, this is very easy to do, but it's not very efficient. The reason it's not very efficient is because we are referring to two arrays. We are removing uh, from one array an object and then from the we are inserting to another array another object and this takes o n to the power of two times to complete which is not very efficient now let's go and see a more efficient way to do that so i'm just gonna comment this out and here i'm gonna say o to n to the power of two legal all right now let's go and create our other 
more efficient algorithm. And we're gonna do the same extension of an array. We're gonna open brackets and then again public mutating and function is gonna be shuffle. And now in this algorithm, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through this array starting from the last position and we're gonna generate a random number. And if that random number does not equal to the one that we generated, we're gonna swap that one with the random number that we got, which might be from zero until seven. Now, how we do that? There's a for loop that we're gonna call, and this is for i in, and then we say stride, and this is a stride through by. Now, what we want to go is, we want to go from the last position, which is count minus one, and then we're gonna go through one, so one by one, we're gonna go by minus one. Now, like this, this is our for loop that goes from the last position, and it's gonna go one step each time by saying minus one. And we open brackets. Now, here we're gonna generate the random number, which is let random equals, again, int arc for random uniform and u int 32 open brackets. Now this one, we want to generate an i plus one. We want to generate a random number from zero until i. Now, if i is 10, the random number generator is never gonna give us 10. That's why we get, say plus one, so if 10, if the random number is 10, it's gonna give us 11, and 11 is not, it's never gonna come up. Then we say, if i does not equal to the random number that we generated, we say swap, and this swap method refers to the array that calls this shuffle method, and it's gonna swap self position i with self at position random. Very simple. And this is our shuffle algorithm. And you can see here it shuffles every time I call list.shuffle. Now, why this is more efficient is because we're looping through only one array and this runs O n times. Now this is the most efficient you can get in shuffling an array. And that was it guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new. Let me know if you like the series and if you want me to make more videos in algorithms in Swift. And if you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.